Hey guys, it's Nightmare Films. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new game called State of Decay and showing you some of my actual gameplay. State of Decay is a new Xbox Live arcade game that was released on June 5th, 2013 for 1600 Microsoft points. The game starts you off in the middle of a zombie outbreak, sort of like The Walking Dead. No one knows what's going on at first, everyone thinks the zombies are just cannibals. In this game, you don't just play as one character, you play with all the characters in your community. First you build up a home base, in this case, it's this house. Then you need to go and find other survivors in the area and try and get them to come and join your crew. At the same time, there's other communities trying to compete with yours with getting more supplies and more people. Even the army. Afghanistan? Right. Guess I'm not surprised you're out here ignoring the quarantine orders. Eventually, you'll find out that not every survivor is a friendly, and you need to learn to not trust everybody. This game I do not recommend when playing in an Xbox Live party because you really want to hear every little thing around you when playing. Because when you die in this game, you die. No coming back. You have to use a different survivor in your community if you die. So if you run out of people, you pretty much lose the game. This game is a great game for keeping you on the edge of your seat as you clear different areas and collect new supplies at night. I definitely prefer playing in the daytime over the nighttime. Having said that, there is a complete day and night cycle in this game. Even when your console is turned off, the game still goes on. Sometimes you might get back on the game and your group has gotten more supplies or even recruits. The combat in this game has a few bugs here and there, but they did a really good job at making a group of zombies a big deal. This is a weird moment I had while playing State of the Cave. My character Maya was getting a little tired, and uh, my teammate there was getting destroyed by zombies, and then... <laughs> I don't know how the car exploded, but it did. So, what could I do? Everyone's dead, my partner's dead. I'll take their stuff. It's really easy to burn through your ammo and your guns fast, and you constantly have to find more. Noise is another thing. You have to be wise with your gun or the whole block will hear you. Even searching for things can make some noise. Crap. There is plenty of stuff to do in this game, whether it's finding more supplies, survivors, bandits, or even holding out in the house. If you let a few get in, they can be hard to beat in a small area. But there are more types of zombies. There are some really fat ones too. But with the right moves, you could take them out. You are also tasked with shooting a doctor's dead son, who will turn into a zombie soon. Better do it quick, then, before it starts to move. In this situation, I was out of ammo, so I went for the kick. Now for the negative things about this game. I really wish you could customize your own player and not have to switch out characters when your player becomes tired. There are also a few bugs. None of them have gotten me killed yet, but I bet you in future updates they'll probably be fixed. It's also a single player only game. This game would be amazing if it had multiplayer. But they are saying they will make a multiplayer version in the future. Overall, I think it's a great game, with a few minor issues, but I totally recommend it. The game really makes it where you have to be wise with your ammo, and it forces you to think fast, and run faster. I give it a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope I did alright on this review. If you want to see more reviews, just hit the like button and leave a comment. Thanks for watching guys.